Ooh, what's up, y'all? Finally here. Oh, hold on, the light. All right. Finally got to Birmingham for the ICB tournament. So, let me put this down because actually, crazy thing happened, man. <clears throat> Before I get started showing y'all the hotel. So, originally, I got like, I went cheap, you know what I'm saying, with the hotel. Got like a Best Western one, like 80 bucks a day. You know what I mean? And it was 20 minutes from uh, Iron City Billiards. Long story short, a couple days ago, a few days ago, uh, Expedia sent me in an email saying that they can't honor my stay over there. So they gave me options, right? And two of the options were not the hotel that I'm in, but you know, it was like an outside type hotel where as soon as you get out, it's like outside, you know what I mean? And then hotels like, you know, you go out, it's the lobby, elevators, etc. But anyways, called the number on the email saying, hey, the next day, you know what I'm saying, the next day. Cause I got an email late at night. And then I was like, hey, like, uh, explained to him the email, whatever, gave him a case number, whatever. And then, you know, he's, the guy started talking and then <clears throat> kind of peeped um, based on his accent that he was Filipino. And so, you know, I was kind of talk, talk my talk, do my thing. And, you know, he ended up hooking me up with, uh, a nicer hotel actually like way nicer than what i originally booked for which is the hilton garden inn and you know the area is five minutes from iron city billiards instead of 20. and so that was the best part and you know the cost was like three times more than what i paid for pretty much but they uh, they only charged me the original value for the first hotel that i booked for and the rest they covered it pretty much so shout out to that dude i think his name was mark from expedia so yeah, man, um, now I'm just gonna give y'all a quick little tour. It's just a little room, so let's see. It's a great start to the trip, you know? So, entrance. Got a thing. Nice little closet area. Fridge, coffee. Just a king bed. That little couch right there, TV desk and i guess this is the bathroom oh who would have thought it is the bathroom let me turn it on Ooh. okay clean clean nice got a little painting and of course the bathroom sliding door or is it slide yeah 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 no it's not thought it was but yep Cool, cool, cool. So today, hold on. All right, so turn that off. Yeah, obviously the plan is to be here. Let me go lay down, man. Ugh. Ugh, the drive was like, four hours and obviously the plan is to be here until the tournament is over because I'm trying to get that first place you know I was so sleepy driving here but you know I just kept hyping myself up and telling myself that I need to stay up yada 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 and yeah man oh by the way I'm in like a fourth floor I don't know the lights really bright outside but fourth floor I'm probably gonna go swimming today and I'll keep you updated man this is probably gonna be it and then I'll probably show like look like as soon as I go in Iron City, I'm gonna practice tonight and the tournament is tomorrow, so I'm gonna get a feel of the table tonight and then yeah focus on myself tomorrow and just make sure I play it right and get that cash, you feel me? Place is sick. And there's some more on the other side. So y'all, so Today is uh, Sun. No, today's Monday, March 13th. And from the previous video, y'all seen that, you know, I was at Iron City Billiards in Birmingham, Alabama, which is about four hours from where I'm at in Georgia. My first ever road tournament. And it didn't went too well. I mean, I shot, I shot pretty good. I felt like, however, the mistakes that I made. 
and some other variables definitely cause why I ended up getting out early so first match it was a landslide I won 5-1 I could have went 5-0 I'll explain the rest in a little bit you know real quick so I got there Friday all right and around three four o'clock and after that I just went to go and practice I wanted to get I wanted to see what the environment was like and I just wanted to shoot and get used to the table start to get a feel of it and of course I'm over there I'm not really trying to take advantage of anybody you know I'm just I just love to play pool I'm not trying to shark anybody I'm not trying to rob the place rob the place meaning like you know you go in there and sneak in anyways I just love to play so I got in had a good first reaction of the area it was pretty nice nice man the, the balls were like bossy and the tables were great lights was perfect kind of bright at certain times but it wasn't too bad so you know i just started playing and just minding my own business just warming up and just of course when i'm playing i don't really pay attention to anybody else i'm just playing and of course i should have been more aware of the situation they started looking at me and of course i keep saying of course and as soon as i was done practicing i was hanging out because there was a tournament so i just watched for a little bit and then the tournament director came up or i, I really st stood right in front of him and he was like, hey man, what's your name? Da, 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 da. People were telling me that you shoot really good and you should be a 7 instead of a 5. Now at this time, I'm like, dude, I mean, I don't know if that's sure or not. Who, who really determines your rank, you know what I'm saying? But um, I've heard about a tournament, how people are underranked. And I feel like I was ranked pretty fair. I mean, I'm not as experienced as other players. I might have some talent. However, I don't have, I lack some experience, you know what I mean? So... When he said that, you know, I immediately got cautious because I'm like, oh man, like, I don't know what to expect in this place. And, you know, it's my first time here. Anyway, they start joking about like, oh, I'm supposed to be a seven and five. And of course, that already in my brain, I was like, all right, I need to be careful with my game plan being cautious or <sighs> I could have done that. I should have took the other route where I shouldn't have given the fuck if I just played my best. And if they put me up then they put me up, but I just felt like targeted. You know what I'm saying? So fast forward the next day, the actual tournament day, I uh, played my first match. I, I got sold for 700 and I bought half of myself, 350. So I, um, my first match, you know, I felt really comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I forgot about what happened last the night before I was just playing my game and I won 5-1 in like, I don't even know, like 15, 20 minutes. Like it was, I probably made one mistake and that mistake was like trying to do a double shot. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I played, the guy was a six plus one and I'm a five. So I ended up winning 5-1, should have been 5-0. But at the end I was like, all right, I gotta be careful. Cause then it started clicking in my head, you know, but what the person, but the tournament director said. Then second game. So as soon as I finished my first game, I walked up to the guy and I was like, hey man, y'all won. And it's like, hmm, pretty much like implying again, like, yo, I'm watching you, right? So I, at that point I was like, all right, man, like, I feel like as me, if I was the one running the tournament, if I want to be fair, I wouldn't have done that. But of course, to each his own, you feel me? So of course I shouldn't have let that get to me, but it did. Second game, I was very cautious with my game. I was like, yo, I can't be doing too much. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, which is, which sucks because I could have uh, seen those players, like they were really good, but I know I'm the right trajectory, tra trajectory, and I feel like, you know, it just motivated me to be better. It just motivated me to be better. And yeah, it's just, it just sucks I, I had to go through that, but it's a lesson learned. Like lesson here, the main lesson is, bro, I just gotta play my best no matter what. If I get ended up getting ranked higher, then so be it. But I just wanna play my best. And that's probably the mistake that I made going over there is I let it get to me. And I can't control what the other person, what other people got going on. So if they wanna, you know, shark me, then so be it. But the only thing I can control is the way I play and you know I just gotta keep practicing 
keep being better so that no matter what somebody else has for me like I can't be stopped and yeah I mean I wasn't you know overtime right like when I was doing my live stream so that's pretty much it about ICB but also I'm really glad how you know I started doing the, the thousand hour lives 10,000 hour live stream and one of the things I've learned throughout the past three four weeks is just not get too carried away with my mistakes and actually just playing my game like despite me getting out you know spending hotel money entrance fee time driving gas food all that stuff to go to Birmingham I felt like I'm proud of myself for actually not getting pissed off and actually just looking at it as a you know stepping stepping stone for what's more to come my way in the future and yeah anyways about the three ten thousand hour live ten thousand hour live stream is you know I kept making shots and over time you know I would just get pissed looking over my videos and I was like yo like I can't be acting like that you know what I'm saying so that really helped me um, dealing with what just happened you know it's a big loss and you know it's only up from here so I was too focused on just practicing pool the past two three weeks that's why I haven't been uploading vlogs but I'm gonna get back to it you know um, I got more in store I got more to talk about in the future but for this video that's all I got to say about ICB so